What's up guys? Doing a quick review video of the Milwaukee PH controller. Uh, just came in today. Decided to hook it up to see how we like it. I've heard uh, that it can overdose a little bit, but you can kind of compensate by setting your desired um, pH a little higher if you're dosing down or a little lower if you're dosing up. Just to kind of correct for that so pretty cool pretty cool packaging um, they got some advertisements for their other products there obviously um, pretty cool pretty cool the EC controller that might one day be in my future as long as I like this one there's the dosing pump it's pretty pretty cool I like the green color it's pretty sweet so I'm not going to do the whole unboxing deal. Uh, I'm sure it's just uh, a box and some foam and stuff, guys. So I'm not going to do all that. I'll jump back um, in here and get it hooked up. And we'll go from there. All right. Here we got it all hooked up to our 50-gallon reservoir. Uh, reading a 6.0 after mixing all my nutrients in. So pretty close to where we need to be. Um, I got a pump inside that thing that's mixing it up, as well as an air pump. Um, you can see down there on the left, uh, this guy here. That is my pH down. Pretty much I filled that jar to the line there. And I put two thirds of a cup of pH down so I diluted it um, probably close to half and half and it's now it's calling I've got it set where I think about five eight five nine is gonna be which pretty much I played with it it's on 6.0 so I turned it up a little bit turned it down a little bit found where it was engaging turned it just below 6.0 um, so now it's pumping and it looks like yep, it's just getting that drawn up into the line so it should be dosing here pretty quick it's taking it a, a good minute here you know it's not very fast which is good to draw it all the way up. There's quite a bit of line. I'd imagine the less line you have, the quicker it doses. Aha, uh -huh, here we are. Oh, look at that. As soon as it hit 5.8, it shut off. Perfect. Oh, 5.7. See, so this is probably the overdosing they're talking about, but that's going to mix in. So it'll probably bump back up once it mixes throughout. And probably start redosing again. And I may need to bump that dial up to get it where I like it. So I think it's more a matter of finding the right adjustment for your system. And probably always err on the side of caution with it, right? So if it's hitting 5.9 instead of 5.7, I'd rather it be a little high than low myself. Um, so I'll probably err on that side but this thing kicked off immediately which I really like pretty simple to set up honestly um, I did calibrate it so they send solution pretty simple um, instructions are all really easy to follow uh, you just got two adjustment screws there so pretty much put it in the solution for the four on the left and the seven on the right and you dial it in while it's in that solution until it's right on what it's supposed to be that's pretty straightforward they send you a little Phillip or a flathead screwdriver rather uh, above and below um, pretty much you know whether you're using you flip it to above if you're wanting to dose down and below if you're wanting to dose up uh, depending on which way your pH is drifting generally speaking it'll go up um, as long as you're 
plants up taking nutrients. Um, generally, if your pH will go up, you'll need to dose down. First setup, this thing was really easy. You just plug the monitor in, and it has two plugs actually. One goes to a relay, and one goes to the monitor itself. The relay is what's telling this to come on and off, and this also has a plug. So that plugs into the relay, essentially. So if you were to plug this in straight to the wall, it'll run 24-7. So you have to have something to tell it to turn on and off, hence the relay. So, I mean, it, this thing's pretty simple. It's not real complicated. Um, you can see my pH is holding 5.6. So obviously I need to uh, bump that up a little bit. And you can see by the dial, you know, I would guess that's probably set higher than 5.6 or what they're calling 5.6 if the bottom's 5.5. Five. So that's probably what people are referring to. But again, I feel like you can dial it in. If I didn't look at those numbers and I just looked at this number and dialed that into where I wanted it, I mean, it would work, right? Essentially. You just got to make it work for you. The only other real pH controller I've been able to find um, was Blue Lab. And it's about double what I paid for this, but it has a stall time. So in between dosing, it'll dose and then you can set how much it doses. It'll wait a set period of time and then it'll recheck the pH to see how much it's changed with its in, if it's within range. If it's not, it'll redose and it'll continue that. So it'll only give it a small amount and then it'll recheck it. And it gives it time to recirculate through the system too. So it's got a little bit more programming than this controller, but I think for half the price, you can really dial that in with that dial, and I don't think this thing will give you any trouble. It's just a matter of knowing your equipment. That's anything. I mean, you, you have to get familiar with whatever tool it is you're gonna use and make it work for your garden. I am just testing this on my 55 gallon drum which I've got a float valve inside of. We can take a peek. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh, perfect lighting. So you can see float valve in the back hooked to the RO. It's currently turned off. That's the pipe you see coming out hooked to a pump in the bottom. This is here and it just recirculates inside the container. Got it feed off there. So it kind of mixes both ways plus a whole bunch of air bubbles in there. Got a big air stone in the bottom. And this comes out and runs into my RDWC over there. So that's how that runs. That's how it's mixing. But anyhow, I figure roughly 40 gallons in here um, with my float valve. It's probably a little more than that, but that's what I mix my nutrients to. So assuming everything works out here and I like how it doses and I can dial that in and I get everything where I like it obviously I'll have it set to this drum but I will be moving it into my exterior uh, control bucket outside my tent so and when I move it over I'll be sure to give you a little short you know sneak peek into that um and of course i'll probably have to redial this so i wanted to test it on the barrel before i committed you know i've got i've got some girls in there right now and i'd hate i'd hate to shock them with some super acidic water you know even a five six i'd be okay with that but you know uh mine generally runs between 5.8 sometimes it goes down to 5.7 if I make a mistake but 5.8 to 6.2 that's where I live um, and generally I start high 
I start higher in uh, early vegetation and I'll, I'll slowly bring it down and then I'm I'm hitting 5.8 probably well right about now which is right about flip you know so about the end of edge I'm, I'm at 5.8 and I'm holding until harvest so and that's kind of per my nutrient line it's going to be a little different for everybody so here we are we got the pH controller hooked into my RDWC after doing the test run in my reservoir um, it's holding strong at a 5.8 um, it seems like it kind of fluctuates between a 5.8 and 6.0 then it starts to dose got the doser mounted just below it and then that runs into the RDWC uh, control bucket that's outside my tent pump pumps it around got to shut off on both sides of the pump in case I ever need to service it auto uh, top off on a float valve coming in there obviously got shut off so I'm uh, filling my my reservoir now so if we look down in here we can see there is the pH probe and this line here the clear line is the uh, doser line coming in so I found that I had to kind of place that line the drip line in a spot that's kind of gonna get to where this will read that it's dosing rather quickly so it doesn't just sit there and dose um, and then drop my pH super low so I had to have it pretty close to the uh, pH probe to make sure I didn't overdose but it all worked out I will note that I had to cover the light on the controller here so that it wasn't flashing a red light every time it kicked on so I just put a little tape over it no big deal but we're holding strong here um, 5.8 as it drifts up once it hits about 6 we're gonna it'll start to dose and it'll bring me back down to about a 5.8 5.9 which is perfect allowing me to take you know if I need to be gone for a week or whatever I can do that without having to worry about my pH drifting, plant suffering. So, all in all, Milwaukee did pretty good.